Hey everyone, Reginald Conga back. Tyler. Yeah, what? Wow, oh, hi. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Well, you could have said hi, or say hi, or... I don't know. I did say hi. I said hello to the viewer. You didn't say hi to me, though. Yeah, but you're like uh, less than a person, but more than an animal. Wow, that was insulting. You know, it's like it's like when they talk, like the saying a lot, they talk about Babe Ruth being more than a man, but less than a god. Right. Except it saying I'm worse. Yeah! No, I kid. A uh, so Pup Pup just lubed that thing up. Now won't be late for what, does oil... I've, I've been hazy on this ever since I was a kid. Does oil actually undo rust? I mean, that's what it does in fiction, at least. I don't know if it does that in real life. I'm assuming it does something like that. Not like... I don't think actual oil would. Hello, but I'm... something you with the oil. Did you know I'm that, like, pure oil, like, like... That. You know, crude oil or whatever the fuck it's called before it becomes like refined or whatever. Some shit like that. Like when they get out of the ground, the point is it's not flammable. It's like not flammable at all. You can let imagine oil oceans on it. It would not explode because the oil is like in such a way that it doesn't catch fire like refined oil or whatever. Right, right. Oh, you knew that? I, I didn't know you already knew. How, how does that wooden thing have a beard? <sighs> You're getting fixed it on bullshit again. I'm sorry, but an inanimate object has grown hair. Like, this this doesn't make any sense. What's holding Putt-Putt's eyebrows up? They're just God. floating in the air there. God is doing it. The God of the Putt-Putt world. What I, would their deity be? I thought we established in the first Putt Putt LP that, like, 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 there's no hope for the world, so I don't think there would be a god in this universe. Like, it's kind of hopeless. They gotta worship something, right? I mean, there's gotta be some sort of deity or something that they worship. Uh. Whether it's maybe an anti god. Whether it's real or not. Ah! Uh, have we ever talked about. Let's talk about Dragon Ball. Okay. I think so this Dragon part is Ball. only eight minutes long for some reason. Anyway, hmm. Dragon Ball. Uh, fucking it exists. Uh, yeah, but like I was gonna say more. I was gonna say something like. Greetings, traveler. May I it hit? really exists. Have we ever talked about like? Dragon Ball is weird because like. My shop is your shop. There are oh, gods and people. Well, yeah. <laughs> There are gods and people, like, there's no made-up religions in Dragon Ball. They either believe in the gods that exist or they don't believe in the gods that exist. There's no... I mean, there could be some made-up religions we just don't know about. Yeah, but I mean, like, on Earth, we've never heard anyone be like, oh, yeah, there's this uh, deity that, you know, we isn't clearly isn't real or whatever. I don't know, I just... I mean, when your god is literally just a dude that hangs out and like, am King in a giant Harrier. floating thing, uh, I mean, just in time to hear a I, 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 I'm, I'm just saying, like, have we ever called him Baka Sama like on this channel? Hmm. Now, I don't know, I but mean? that, yeah, Baka Sama. Lord Dumbass. Yeah, Lord Dumbass. Uh, uh, speaking of Baka and all that shit, like, I've heard. And my Spanish teacher was lousy back in, like, high school, but I've heard that a stupido is actually a really harsh insult in Mexico. El stupido. That's El yeah, Estupido. You said El Stupido. It's the dog. Yeah, it is the dog, but they actually, I've heard that they can't, like, the reason people say a street when they come here from Mexico is they, uh, you know, uh, the language is structured in such a way that you can't you can't start a, a, a word with the word the letters S T. You have to. Anyway. So uh, we, we I already have the solution to this puzzle like right away. Oh, that's good because yeah, Put Put's dick wasn't big enough to get him. That's not gonna make sense to anyone who hasn't watched our first like LP in its entirety. Yeah, so now they have to go back and watch that. I'm driving viewership, Reg. 
I don't. I think it. I think if it's between like more viewership from them and like understanding a joke, I think it'll just take not understanding the joke. Don't give them ideas. What the hell are we doing, man? Uh, we're playing a mini game, but I quit it pretty quick because I I didn't want to play it for real. Yeah, I don't blame you. This looks stupid. It's uh, it's just a mini game. I I kind of wanna. You want to quit the game, I think he's explaining the rules or something. We have this muted on our end before, while we're recording this, and I kind of thought this game sucked, so I decided to uh, quit it pretty quick. I thought I'd show it off, and I was like, nah. Which I maybe should have shown off a little bit more of it than I did because, like, like this no, video no. is only eight minutes long. I think you showed too much of it, honestly. <laughs> This is the part where I'm trying to figure out how to leave. And then you realize you had to hit exit. Yeah. Uh. So when does uh when does Put Put lube up his uh, antenna? He's a child, damn it. Yes, but he's also a car. Oh jeez, Rick. <laughs> I mean, how does age work for cars? Well, I mean, I've, I've... aging is not chemical. <laughs> aging is not biological; it's chemical. So, like cars with, in real cars, life, age. No, with cars, it, it's how it's how far they go. Generally, that's how you determine the age. And I mean, Pup Pup has gone to the moon. Well, I mean, if he's gone to the motherfucking moon, I think he is. You know. Well, there's two ways of looking at it, Tyler. There's chronological age, which is. Uh, you know, constantly changing or whatever, and then there's like chemicals breaking down over time. Excuse me. I'm Pet -Pet. I'm and uh, both of those things apply to cars. Like chronological, a car that was made three years ago is three years old, and uh, and uh, you know, a, a car that's rusted and shit is a piece of shit, and you should throw it in the dumpster. I, I, I've never had a car that old, really. I think what I'm asking ultimately is the moral implications of putt putt brand. I don't know, man. We don't want to get on that on this <laughs> fucking. Hi, everybody. This is Reginald Kunga speaking on a separate day. We kind of got carried away with that conversation. Tyler kind of wasn't thinking through a joke, and I fucking didn't know how to respond to it. So, uh. I'm cutting out part of this conversation, so uh, sorry about that. The manatee found the missing hat. Now all of the beavers will be happy. So uh, I really don't right want to. What? There's a there's a manatee. Oh yeah, good good save. Um, the penguins. Pizza. Yeah. What are you the doing? The Beatles. Oh. I wanted to listen to some uh, Rocky Raccoon. The penguins cried when their instruments turned what? into pizza. Rocky but Raccoon, it's a song by the Beatles. Turned into umbrellas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From oh, yeah. the White Album. You, you slept through the White Album. Yeah, it was okay. You know, it's, it's funny you're in the middle because I've heard, like, from my rock and roll history teacher who was like, you know, music appreciation class. Yeah, yeah, rock and roll. People are really surprised when I say I went to a rock and roll class. I'm like, no, that's that's a music appreciation class. It's not that out there. But anyway, he told me the Beat White album was like the most polarizing. Cause some people say it's the best Beatles album, and some will say it's the worst Beatles album. It just sounded like a Beatles album to me. Damn, you really do suck. You got shit taste. Oh wow, is that it? I told you it was only like eight or nine minutes long. Okay, well. um... Bye, everybody. Yeah. That got awkward General there store. towards the end. Thank fuck we got over that. <laughs> I should stop it. Big McThinkies from McSpankies.